my name is Amanda and welcome to this lovely little tutorial where I will be showing you how to make this very simple needle case. Now this is a great little project for those of you who are either beginning with crafting or would just like a project that is quite simple and easy and quick to make. There's lots of different little elements and techniques that you can learn to do in this tutorial. So I hope you have fun making it and you end up with a lovely little needle case that you will love and use forever. You can find all of the measurement and cutting instructions for this project in the description box below. To start, flip the piece you've cut for the outer cover and place the piece of heat and bond that's the same size onto the back, paper side facing up. Using a medium heat dry iron, iron on the heat and bond for about 15 to 30 seconds or until it has fully adhered to the fabric. Once cool, carefully peel off the paper. Lay the thin cardboard piece on top, ensuring it is as centered as you can get it. Next, fold over one corner at a time, carefully using the tip of the iron to secure them down. Then, fold over each edge, pressing them securely down with the iron. Flip the outer cover piece over and give the whole thing a good press to secure the cardboard to the fabric. Then place to one side to cool. Next gently iron on the interfacing piece to the back of one of the small tab pieces. Lay the other one on top right sides together and then sew a scant quarter inch seam around each edge leaving one of the smaller edges open. Snip off any excess thread and cut down the corners. Then very patiently and gently pull the tab right side out using your fingers or a chopstick. To help get crisp pointy corners, use the point on your scissors to push them out as best as you can. Then give the tab a good press with the iron. Next is to hand sew the snap fasteners into place. The one on the right will be sewn onto the tab, while the one on the left will be sewn onto the front of the outer cover piece. With a needle and matching thread, bring the thread to the top of the fabric, hiding the knot in between the two layers. Thread one half of the fastener through and make small stitches around each of the holes, ensuring that the thread can't be seen on the other side. To secure the stitching at the end, make a little stitch close to the edge of the fastener. Then do it again, this time leaving a small loop. Thread the needle through, creating a knot. Plunge the needle back into the fabric, bringing the thread out a little bit away from the knot, and then snip the thread off. To attach the other side of the fastener, bring the needle up halfway down on the right side of the outer cover about half an inch in from the edge. Thread the fastener through and sew it into place the same way as the first. Secure the thread with a simple knot at the back once you reach the end. And then make sure they fit perfectly together. Next, take the largest piece of felt and iron on the other piece of heat and bond. Using pinking shears, carefully cut as close to the outer edge as possible a zigzag design along each side. Peel away the paper backing. Lay the felt on top of the cardboard side of the outer cover, then gently iron it into place. And FYI, don't forget like I did to center the tab piece in the middle of the felt and outer cover on the opposite edge to the other side of the snap fastener. While the outer cover piece is cooling, Use pinking shears again to cut a zigzag design along each side of the other two felt pieces. Then lay each one on top to the inside of the cover, ensuring they're evenly centered. Take the whole thing to the sewing machine and sew a line down the center, stitching all of the layers together. Make small back stitches at the start and at the end so that the stitching stays in place. to finish trim off any excess thread 
from the stitched center line. Now I must mention my source of inspiration for this tutorial and it is from one of my most favorite craft books and it's this one called So by Kath Kidson. There are some awesome, awesome projects in this book that I absolutely love. So if you're looking for a really cool book that has lots of cool homey, crafty type projects, then this is the one for you. It's a really, really great read. So thanks Kath Kidson for the inspiration. Now I mentioned at the start of the video that down in the description box you'll find all of the measurement and cutting instructions. You'll also find a full list of all the materials that you'll need to make this needle case. So check those out of course if you're going to make this project. Now before I go, today is Mother's Day and I would just like to wish all of you out there who are mothers a very happy Mother's Day as well as to my own mum. Happy Mother's Day mum. And I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. Now if you'd like to see more of the things that I do here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you come and join us. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye! and then start stitching them together to make hexi flowers just like this. And this is what I've been obsessed with making. I've sort of lost count of how many hexi flowers I've made over this past month, but I've just sort of been churning them out and churning them out because they're just really relaxing.